Hello all my friends, this is my pre-trip video to uh, kind of show you how my plans are going to be a little different than my ordinary trips. Basically it's going to be about 50% the same. The other 50% is going to be the missing gear because I'm not going to have like tent, bed roll, and just a lot of other things are going to be really pared down to a uh, minimum essential. So um, there's the bike kind of semi-packed. I got the sleeping bag on the back. Well we'll get to that later. Let's first go to, this is my new addition. I'd been using an Ozark Trails uh, Walmart backpack. It was just a leftover one, believe it or not, from my grandson using it at grade school that he just didn't want anymore. So until uh, then I'd been using that. But this one is a military style pack. It's, uh, I don't know, I'll put the link down below to the, uh, it costs like, I don't know, 31, 35 bucks, something like that on Amazon. But it's sewn really good. It's put together really good. I've uh, read the reviews on it. Everybody seems to like it. It's got lots of extra places to hook stuff to or attach stuff to. It's even got this kind of soft stuff where you can, uh, it's the soft side of the Velcro so you can uh, do all the kinds of military stick-ons and clamp-on things on the outside, whatever you want, which I probably won't use much of that feature. But it's got uh, two small compartments in the very back. Uh, this one I'm going to probably use for the tool pouch to put my tool selection. Now this isn't going to change much. I When I travel, I travel with very few tools. I figure, hey, you know what? All you need is enough tools to do an emergency road repair if you can and limp to the nearest Walmart or something like that or discount buy a big box store and get uh, the tools you need. Home Depot, Lowe's, something like that. So this is what I bring along. Just a multi-bladed screwdriver. It's got two regular blades and two Phillips blades in it and you just flip this thing around and it's also a nut driver too for two common sizes. Your electric tape to patch up or hold anything together. These two tools basically are just to break loose the axle nut in case I have to do any chain adjustments. I rarely have to since I have owned the bike. I've only adjusted the chain three times in 22,000 miles. So the chain, it's an O-ring chain and it just barely ever needs any adjustments. So I may or may not have to adjust it one time on the trip. And then a regular crescent wrench. And uh, some of you may say, well, if you have to hold a nut on one side and then turn it, uh, how are you going to keep it from turning on the other side? Well, in my pocket all the time, I always have a set of pliers I keep with me. In fact, here it is right here. Got a little, this thing in the bottom is just to protect my pocket from getting damaged. When I didn't have it, my pockets used to get holes in it from the bottom of the handles. But that's always with me at all times, along with a, uh, somebody mentioned that too. They called it a MacGyver screwdriver, or no, MacGyver pocket knife. It is a MacGyver style pocket knife, yes. It's got uh, two tools on the back. It's got the leather punch all, the Phillips, well, here it is. Here, let me give you the right side there. Phillips blade right here. Let me see if I can flip it out one-handed. Uh, barely. Got the Phillips blade. You can see the all punch laying alongside it right there. Got the uh, toothpick, tweezers, then you got small and large blades, and then you got the uh, small and large regular screwdriver with the bottle opener and can opener on it. So, um, yeah, I think that's, if not it's if not the exact one, it's very similar to what MacGyver carries with him. That's in my pocket at all times, too. Along with my back pocket, various rubber bands. I've got like probably a handful of rubber bands to hold stuff together, too. And so the tools will be rolled up in these rags, which are also useful to have rags if you're going to do dirty work. I'll just roll them up, rubber band it together, and that will all stuff in this pouch right here. Now, it doesn't look like it, but this backpack actually expands and gets larger let me show you here with my gets larger than it is wide so you can it can really expand and become uh, quite tall in that direction but here's the first main compartment and it's got a place for a laptop this is your laptop sleeve and I'll probably have my laptop every all the items in here will be wrapped in uh, padding if need be like for my laptop I'll definitely put padding around it and a uh, towel besides that too and then wrapped in uh, garbage bag black garbage bags so that they they claim this backpack is waterproof. They call it waterproof. I'd say water resistant maybe, but with the zippers and everything, I don't think you could really in a downpour call this to be really water resistant even. I think eventually stuff inside. But you can see it's got pockets there. It's got the little netting pockets. One of them's closed and zipped. I may or may not use these pockets. I don't know. But the main clothes, this one actually expands out down there. It's kind of crumpled up, but this expands out about three or four inches. So I'll probably fit the bulk of my clothing in this one. And then this next one will be probably for the electronic gadgets and stuff like that, the uh, 
rechargers, the GPS, the cameras, everything like that, the gear that I have to uh, charge your stuff like that, things on the road, and then, yeah, tool pouch here, and then this will probably be all my personal hygiene items and stuff, it'll probably be, you know, toothbrush, showering stuff, uh, just stuff like that, just some personal hygiene items, bottles of whatever, shampoos, conditioners, blah, 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 stuff like that, so, yeah, uh, let me take it over to the bike, and I will show you where it will go, now you'll have to imagine that it's going to be expanded out a lot bigger than this, but, uh, right here on my bike, this bag right here is actually an empty bag. I take this with me on purpose, empty, because my dirty clothes, as the clothes get dirty, I wrap them, I put them in a big garbage bag, and then wrap them up, and then put them in here so that there's no chance they'll stink up my regular bag. And also, this gives me room if I pick up anything along the way, like souvenirs, extra t-shirts, uh, just things along the way on the trip that people give me, it'll go in this bag here too. And I have the option, if I want, this bag here, I carry it most of the time when it's rather full, I actually carry it up here on the forks. I actually hang it from the lights, and it sits maybe about two inches above the uh, fender there. The fender touches it once in a while, but it's a soft bag, so it isn't going to hurt anything, but it'll probably just be like this. So I have a sleeping bag there, although I'll probably just use it to spread out on different beds and stuff like that where I sleep. Sometimes, sometimes I, I like the way the bed sheets and the bed spreads are. Sometimes I'm not really, I don't really like the feel of them, so what I basically do is just unroll my sleeping bag. So that will be like this, only this is going to be probably another foot and a half or more higher. So this will be all the gear that I have in the back there. This right here, my saddlebag, will be full. It's full at all times because that's where I keep my rain gear. And this is actually some of that heavy-duty yellow rain gear you can get at the hardware store. Almost looks like a hazmat suit. It's the commercial stuff, uh, actually. Same one that I used to use at work when I worked at the water treatment plant. And then two pieces of wood. These are like those little pucks you see people carry to uh, hold their kickstand if their kickstand's on some soft asphalt or something like that. But I actually made these a little bit longer and put a little edge on them. They're used as a ramp. I actually take and put them underneath my motorcycle and then run them up on the ramp just to raise the rear tire slightly. And then the uh, center stand, which you can see... There's the center stand right there. I can actually pop it up on the center stand real super easy. Now I can get it up on the center stand the way it is right now, but if I take just a little tiny piece of wood just like that and just gain that half an inch to three quarters of an inch, it pops up on the center stand real easy. And like I said, I also have the same thing as those hockey pucks for the kickstand right there because on a hot day in black asphalt, that thing will come out and it'll be sunk down maybe a couple of inches into black asphalt. And I don't want this bike to tip over because it leans enough already. And the other bag is actually left pretty much empty except for the side pockets. And I've got extra bungee cords and then I've got the chain lube in here and then some extra towels and some uh, uh, rags and some... Uh, what do you call it, uh, plastic polish, some plastic polish to uh, polish any bugs that get on my windscreen of my helmet. And the more you use it, the more coats you put on it, the better it gets. The first few, four or five times I used that plastic polish, Novus plastic polish, I didn't really think it was that good. But then I noticed as I kept using it, the plastic kept getting slicker and slicker and less bugs would stick to it. And the rain too, the rain basically just sheets off, it's kind of like Rain-X. So... What am I doing for time here? I'm up to, my gosh, I'm going to probably hit 10 minutes or so here if I don't watch it. So, Anyway, just to let you know what my packing is going like, I will probably take my Triumph jacket because it's more like a fall jacket too. You can use it in the summertime because it's got vents, but I'm not taking that. That's the netting jacket. Now, that's really good in 90 degree weather because the air just totally flows through it. But, yeah, for this trip, it's going to be more of the fall jacket because in the mornings, it's been like 60 degrees, even upper 50s, even in August. Yeah, believe it or not, Chicago in August, it's been actually a very cool August in, in the mornings. It's been cold. So that's kind of what my trip is going like as far as the, the pre-trip packing and choosing things to bring with me. So the next one will probably be, I don't know if I'll do any more pre-trip videos, but the next one will probably be when I'm actually starting on the road on the trip. So talk to you guys later.